What is up, familiar? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to day number, had to think about it then, five of our hourglass sculpt program. <laughs> are loving this program as much as I'm loving filming it, I'm loving getting myself back on track after injury, very excited about today's workout. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit jet lagged. I landed in at 11pm last night. The struggle is kind of real but I know I'm going to feel great after this so if any of you guys are struggling for motivation and you're thinking Lily's full of energy, this is quite a low energy day for me but I know I'm going to feel amazing at the end of this. So I'm totally with you guys, I know what you're feeling but I know that we push through this together, we're going to feel amazing afterwards. It's only a 30 minute workout today, we are majorly focusing on the booty, on the hips, it's going to be fabulous. 30 minute workout, 10 minutes per circuit. Circuit one is going to be pretty similar to circuit three and it's all down on the mat. Do not think that that means it's going to be easy. We are going to be hitting into those glute muscles, sculpting into that hourglass shape. Circuit two is a little bit more cardio, a little bit more fat burn. We are going to sweat. Before we get started, if you don't mind, please do give this video a thumbs up. It massively supports my channel. If you are new to my channel and you haven't yet hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit it because there are so many workouts that go live on my channel every single week. It massively supports me. My goal is 100,000 subscribers. Let's see if we can get there together. Okay, I need you to grab a resistance band, a set of dumbbells. I've gone with 3kg as per if you don't have dumbbells. Don't worry, just grab any heavy objects that weigh kind of the same. All right, we're gonna move the feet away from the body, digging the heels in, and then from there, softening the ribcage down, imprinting the spine, pulling those stomach muscles in that core really nice and tight. We're gonna peel our way up into a bridge. The timer hasn't started yet. We're just getting our form right. Core nice and tight. We're not overarching, we are tucking the tailbone under. We're squeezing those butt muscles. Okay, gonna start the timer. We're off, okay? 45 seconds on each exercise, 15 seconds recovery, holding nice and tight. I'm with you every step of the way, okay? You should be pushing out slightly against the resistance of that band. We just start off with a hold before we're gonna start, make it a little bit harder. Again, tailbone tuck nice and tight. If you're new to my workouts and you're thinking, this is easy, just you wait. In about five minutes, you're gonna hate me. Okay, nice and wide with the knee. Keep that tension on. We're now gonna do mini pulsations up, up, up. Good, all the way through. Squeezing those butt muscles, keeping the core nice and tight. One, and in your 15 second recovery, I'm so sorry to say it, you're holding at the top. Keep those heels digging in. Of course, if you need a break, you can take it, but I really want this booty burning by the end of this workout. Two, one, we're now gonna come up onto our toes. Good work. And then we're gonna come down, up, open, close. Down, up, open, close. Good work. Up, open, close. So keeping the core tight, keeping the rib cage down, squeezing the booty. Really, really working into those butt muscles. We want them burning by the end of this. So this is kind of an activation really, but this is really sculpting as well as activating the glutes. So for a lot of you who struggle to tone your glutes, to lift your glutes, you might find that instead your quads are building. I hear you, I have been there. 15 second hold. All of these exercises are targeting the glutes rather than the quads in this circuit, okay? Nice and high, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. No giving up. Good work, guys. We're gonna be grabbing the weights in a second. One, okay, flat feet now. Grabbing your weights, popping your weights onto your pelvis. Squeezing. If you feel that you're overarching, just come down. Retuck and up we come. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. 100% of the maximum. Okay, we're now gonna push out, out, out. Stay nice and high. So you should feel that those glutes are waking up now. Keeping high for me. 
10 exercises per circuit. This is number three. Avoid that overarch and take a quick look up at me, guys. We want to avoid that. We want to tuck. Keep the core tight. Good. Hold and squeeze. 15 seconds. This is the real burn part now. Come on, hold and squeeze. Work, work, work. A little bit wider. You want a really nice, strong resistance band. Feel that burn. Push out. One. Okay, we're back into the pump. Up, up, up. Up, good work. We're going all the way to 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now pumping out. Out for 10. 3, 4, nice and high. 5, don't give up. 6, 7, 8, 9. Now up for 10. Let's go. 10, 9, 8. Keep the knees wide while you do. Squeeze that butt. Last. 4, 3, Two and one pump out. Ten, nine, eight. Come on, you can do it. Seven, six, three, two, one. Pump up, up, up. Amazing. Well done, guys. Okay, drop the weights off. Quickly take the band off. This is your 15 seconds recovery. We're now going to go for frog pumps, okay? So you're taking the knees wide. If you want to make it harder, pop your weights on and we're coming up from here. Okay, so you can do this without weights, absolutely fine. And you'll notice I'm only lowering halfway down. So I'm not going all the way down, I'm keeping that tension on. Really squeezing the butt. Good work. And exactly the same applies. No overarching. Keeping that core really nice and tight. You should be feeling that those booty muscles are kicking in. Good work. Come on, all the way through. All the way. We are sculpting into the glutes right now. Good. Two, one. Woo! Okay, we're coming up onto all fours now, okay? So onto all fours. Good work. And we're going with a side leg lift. So spreading the fingertips. Finding neutral spine, lifting the left leg out, coming halfway down only. So using that breathing control to power up. Halfway down only, keeping that tension. If you need to, you can come all the way down, but if you can, only halfway. And for the last 10 seconds, we're gonna pump it. Good work. Just five seconds left here, then we're going to pump. Okay, we're going to pump up, up, up. Good, up. Really good, all the way through, guys. Last three. Woo, amazing. Get yourselves ready on the other side. So we're going to find neutral spine, okay? Couple of cat and dog stretches if you want to. Core nice and tight, shift the body weight over, lift the leg up. Good work, lowering halfway down and up. So I often get asked about if you should be down on the forearms for this. Honestly, it's totally up to you. I prefer all fours, so four points, as in the hands, just because I feel like it brings me into neutral spine better. But you can still achieve, obviously, neutral spine down on the forearms. So it's totally up to you with this one. Good, really keeping that tension on. 15 seconds left, we're gonna pump for the last 10. Holding it up and pump it. 10, nine, eight, seven, pump, six, five, four, three, two, woo! Okay, we're gonna be coming straight back onto our backs. We are getting there. Well done guys, okay, band straight back on for me. Nice and fast. We're gonna get 15 seconds recovery. Okay, up we come into a bridge. This time we're on our toes. We're gonna drop the left hip down, power it up. Right down, up. Left, up. If you wanna make it harder, of course you can add those weights on. Okay, so we're not getting any break for the rest of this circuit. We're powering through, okay? We can do it. Good work. Amazing. 
Using that breathing control. Incredible. We've only got two minutes left after this. Make it worthwhile for me. Okay, we're holding at the top. Holding, keeping those knees wide, squeezing. Yes, yes, yes. Hold and squeeze. Incredible, now pump out, pump out, pump out all the way. One, woo! Okay, last exercise, keep the band on. You're gonna hook the right ankle over the left knee and you're gonna pump up there. I say last exercise. Last exercise is lying. So I'm about to really, really warm up those legs. We're going to be coming up into standing any second now. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Okay, we're going to change sides. Come on, you can do it. If you want to make it harder, you can lift the arms up, okay? All the way through. Come on. Core tight. Glutes engaged, nearly there. Two, one, woo! Okay, straight up into standing for your last exercise, okay? We're gonna be going with a jump in and out, okay? Nice and low, going in three seconds. Two, one, let's go. So we're getting prepped for circuit two, which is your cardio circuit, okay? So for those of you who know, I've had a pretty serious, well a very serious knee injury. So this is pretty hard on my right knee. And if anyone's in the same position, you can actually just sidestep. Okay, everyone else jumping. But I'm really feeling my knee after a seven hour flight, I'm not gonna lie. But if you can, I want you jumping. Amazing. Come on, side to side, 10 seconds. No excuses. If I can do it with my fungus knee, as Alex calls it, you guys can as well. Woo! Circuit one complete, guys. We're gonna go straight into circuit two. Keep the band on. Okay, so we're going straight into circuit two. We're starting off with our crab walks, okay? Nice and low in a half squat. Okay, really pushing out against the resistance of that band. We're working into that outer booty. Good work, incredible. Not gonna lie, I'm feeling my knee today, guys. So if I need to make it slightly easier for myself, I'm gonna have to, but I'm gonna keep pushing you guys as much as I physically can. So really pushing out against the resistance of that band. Come on, under 10 seconds left. We can do it. Push, push, push. One, woo! Okay, you're gonna grab one or two weights, if you can hold two, do for me, okay? Just because I'm not, doesn't mean that you can't, all right? Knees nice and wide, and we're gonna go with a simple squat hold. This is our cardio circuit. Well, I say cardio, this is our little bit of fat burn with sculpting. Holding nice and low, pushing out against the resistance of that band. <sighs> Breathing into it. Focusing, if you need to at any point come up, shake the legs up and go back down again. Wow, this is proof to myself that I can really push. I can push through that, that bit of pain there. So girls, guys, whoever's doing this program, you can push through it too. So we're gonna pulsate now the last 10 seconds. Don't give up, do not give up, I'm not. Two, one, Woo! 15 seconds recovery, we're going into our jump squats now, okay? So the one that we did before, we're pushing out and back in again. Anyone like me who is struggling, we're just gonna come to the side, okay? Two, one, I'm gonna start you off, jumping out and in. So for those of you who are wondering what I'm talking about, okay, keep going, side to side. If you're injured like me or wanna drop it down a level, had a really nasty ski accident in January and I ruptured two of my ligaments, fractured a bone, <laughs> I did it all, got some DVTs along the way, but I am feeling so determined to get my body back. I can't even describe to you. Girls, if you are jumping, please keep pushing. Come on, if I can do it, you can too. Come on, keep pushing, five seconds. 
one, woo, okay, have a moment. Okay, we're going straight down now to break up this circuit, just with some more pumps. Heels digging in, weights on your pelvis, pump up, let's go. Then we're going straight back into that cardio bit. We're keeping it nice and fast. We're working the booty. Come on, really pumping. Work that under butt, the little shelf bit. Come on, we can do it. Keeping those knees nice and wide, pumping up really fast. Then we're going back into those side steps. Squat hold, squat jumps, no giving up, come on. It's crazy how you can have days where you're like, I'm just really not feeling as strong today, but you know what, that's absolutely fine. I know that we're all gonna feel amazing after this workout. Okay, straight back up for me. This time I want you to hold a weight as you do those side steps, okay? Coming to the side of the mat, coming nice and low. Good work. Two, one, let's go. So we're walking to the side. We're gonna have to drop this down, but you guys are holding it. Really pushing out against that band. You know the other thing? Does anyone else get off the flight when you're like, Wow, I'm bloated, I'm sore today. That is me. And the best thing you can do after a flight is work out. Loads of water, push through, work out. Come on, keep pushing. I'm so sorry, my knee is a little bit sore. That's a lie, my knee is very sore. We're gonna have to keep stopping, but I want you to push, come on. We can do it. We've got this. Two. One, woo, okay. Grabbing if you can, both of your weights. We're coming down into that squat hold, nice and wide with the knees, pushing out against that band. Weights in, down we come. Really nice and low, aiming for 90 degrees if you can. If you wanna drop the weights, you can. If you do, I want the chest open. Okay, don't give up. Do not give up again if you need to come up. Shake it off, go back in again. We have got this. We're nearly halfway. Breathe through it, focus. Knees wide, if you feel they're buckling in, readjust, come back down again. 15 seconds, we're gonna pulsate the last 10. Let's go, 10, nine, eight, come on, seven, six, five, don't give up, don't give up, two, one, woo, amazing squat, jump, let's go. And move these weights, okay. We've got this, guys, so it's the one where you're jumping in and out. Five seconds, come on, we can do it. One, let's go. So jumping with the in and out. So if you can, really nice and fast. Everyone else, copy me. So you're stepping the foot in and back out again, okay? And if you're struggling with that, you can just hold a squat entirely up to you. If you're holding the squat, I really want you to push out against that band. Really pushing, we can do it. Everyone else, you are jumping. I feel so bad, guys. But honestly, this is just a little bit of a bad day for me. But it doesn't matter, I'm not gonna stop. But at the same time, if it's gonna make my knee worse, I need to make it a little bit easier for myself. Okay, five seconds left. Jumping, jumping, jumping. Woo, amazing, we're into our last three exercises. This one, we're gonna be holding a mini squat. You've done this with me before. You're gonna push out against the band and back in again, okay? This is a lot harder than it looks. Mini squats, let's go. Pushing out and back in. So you're keeping that half squat. You're keeping nice and low. This burns so much more than you realize. Good work, we're only doing half on each side. If you need to, readjust, come back down again, and push. So for me, this is the good side, this feels fine. Good work. Amazing, one more. Perfect, we're gonna change sides. So half squat, push, and back. So you are on the other side, guys, okay? I'm gonna have to come back to this side, but you're doing the opposite side now. Really pushing out against that band. One, woo, 
amazing. Well done, guys. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Okay, back into a squat hold. I know you hate me right now. One or two weights. Feet relatively wide, just a little bit wider than shoulder distance. Down we come, we're holding. Okay, this time we're gonna pump out. Out for 10, eight, seven, good. Six, five, push, four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna hold. We're gonna hold for 10 seconds, then we're gonna push again. Oh yes, we are. Good, five seconds left, come on, we can do it. Nice and low. Okay, let's go, push, push. Push, come on, really nice and low, really wide. Good work, amazing. Three, two, now we're holding, 10 seconds. Nice and low, pull those stomach muscles in, chest open. Three, two, one, woo! Last one is your jump squats. If you know you can do them, please push through. I know I'm not able to, guys, but I want you to power through. I believe in you. I know you can do it. Jump squats if you can. Everyone else with me. If you are jump squatting, okay, I want you low. I want that butt low and in. Oh, it's a sore day. Okay, 30 seconds, come on. I'm so sorry, I hate moaning, guys. No giving up. Come on. Just over halfway. Butt low. Nice and fast. If you can go faster than me, come on. Push, push, push. I know we've got this, guys. I want this journey with you. 10 seconds. This is like project comeback for me. Three seconds. One. Woo! Okay, band stays on. We're coming straight down onto the mat and we're going for our final circuit, okay? We're back into the sculpting. Okay, so this is our last circuit and we're not gonna get any breaks whatsoever for 10 minutes, okay? So I want you to grab your weights, keep your resistance band on, dig the heels in, and we're gonna pump all the way up to the top. Tailbone tucked, butt nice and tight, core tight, knees wide. Not much to think about when we're pumping up. So we have 10 minutes continuous now and we're really going to burn into the glutes so this is really nice and knee friendly but trust me it gets results keeping the knees wide pumping up nice and high so that's one thing i've definitely noticed since my injury sorry to blabber on but since my injury i literally lost so much muscle and i know that sounds really weird but basically my glutes disappeared i had the flattest I've ever had in my life and I just lost definition but since then what I've been doing is all of these knee friendly exercises and I found my butt has really perked up and I'm finding my definition again okay keeping high keeping high and now pumping out so for those of you who like me struggle with your booty these are amazing for the butt keeping high keeping the tailbone tucked squeezing those butt muscles we're pumping out pretty fast out out, 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 good, breathing, good work. If you need to readjust, come halfway down or the whole way down, pump up and continue. 10 minutes continuous, we have got this. Really pumping out against that band. Amazing work guys, no giving up. Come on, push for me, push, 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 push all the way through that minute. A little bit higher if you can. Higher, higher, higher. Amazing, come on, really pump up high for me. Incredible, we're nearly there. Even higher. Two, one, woo! Okay, keep a hold of just one weight. Come onto your side, okay? I want you to bend the underneath leg, straighten the upper, pop the weight on the leg. We're lying all the way down for this, and we're gonna pump up. Keeping that core tight, we're in neutral. The foot is flexed, that's super important. So try not to point the toes, instead flex them. And that's gonna work into the posterior chain. The muscles down the back of the legs, the booty, incredible. Pumping all the way. Keeping nice and strong through that core. Okay, last 20 seconds, come back a bit for me. And now pump up. 
Come on, just 15 seconds left. We're slightly back into extension. 10 seconds. Good work. Nearly there. Last three, two, one. Woo! Bend both knees. Keep the weight on. Lift the feet up onto what I call an imaginary stool. And now we're going to open into the clam. Good. And you'll notice I'm not coming all the way down. I'm keeping some tension on. Breath out open. Breath in close. One minute on each exercise is a burner. As you can probably tell, keep pushing. We're nearly halfway through this one. And these movements don't all have to be fast. Slow and controlled is actually harder. Good, really pushing out. Come on, I want you to burn into that outer booty here. This is the glute med. Under 20 seconds left now. Good, core tight. Core tight, tight, tight. 10 seconds. Hold, hold wide, hold wide, hold wide. Now pump. Four, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Okay, we're gonna keep the tension on that booty side. So it should be your right side. If it's not, no stress, okay? Coming onto all fours, keep the band on. We're gonna pump out with the band on, lowering halfway down only. If you need to take the band off, of course you can. Come on, keep going for me. Really working into that outer booty. Incredible. Over halfway now. So this is the point where your glutes are gonna say, please stop, and you're not gonna let them. You're gonna keep pushing. Good, 20 seconds. When we get to the last 10, we're gonna hold and pump. 15 seconds, come on, no giving up. 10, hold and pump, 10, 9, 8, don't give up, 7, 6, 5, 2, 1, woo! Okay, straight onto the other side, I'm not gonna lie, that glute is kind of numb now, I don't know about you guys. Okay, so onto your side, bending the underneath leg slightly, straightening out the upper leg, flexing the foot, and up we come. So we've got to basically match up the glutes now. We can do it. Really push for me. Core tight. And you'll notice, I'm just going to pop the weight down. But you'll notice there's a slight gap underneath my waist. Now, if you can, what you're trying to do is avoid this and come with a, a side lie with purpose is the best way of describing it. So really activating the core back into extension. Pump up. Good. Just over 10 seconds left. Keep pumping. Five seconds, guys, come on. Two, one, woo! Okay, clam, so bending the knees. Feet up onto the imaginary stool. Push out, slowly back down again. And remember, we're not going all the way down for this. And you'll notice that one side is weaker than the other. The goal is to be working from here. We want to open nice and wide, slowly lower down, but not the whole way down. Should be working this out of booty, okay? If you can, the weight is on. Good work. Come on, we're really pushing through. We're over halfway. Good, remember the last 10 seconds, we're gonna pump. We're nearly into that last 10 seconds, come on. 15 left, don't give up. Do not give up. Make sure that weight's nice and low down the leg. 10 seconds, pump. Five seconds left. Two, one, woo! Okay, straight up, no break. We are going into the side leg lift, okay? All fours, neutral spine, up we come and back down again. And exactly the same applies to this exercise. We're trying not to come the whole way down because that kind of turns your glutes off, okay? You want to keep nice and high. You really want to keep those glutes engaged. Just two exercises left after this, come on. We've so got it. We're over halfway already. Come on, guys. 20 seconds left. Keep pushing for me. No giving up. 
last 15 seconds. Come on. Good work. 10, hold it. Pump it. 10, 9, 8, higher. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Woo! Amazing, guys. Okay, back onto your back, okay? This time, I want you to take your band off. Nice and fast for me. Working against the clock, okay? Hamstrings. We're gonna come on up into a bridge. We're gonna shift the body weight over onto one side. Leg straight, pump up. We're only going half on each leg for this. We can do it. Really working into the back of the thighs. This is the only real hamstring exercise that we're doing. So make it worthwhile. Just taking the timer. Okay, we're changing legs. Nice and high. Up we go. Come on, all the way. All the way, don't give up. All the way to the end. Then our last exercise is a little surprise. Good work, guys. Two, one. Woo! Amazing. I'm actually going to pause. I pause because I want you to come up into standing, okay, for the last exercise. Okay, so your time has started down in a deep squat. We're going to be doing 15 seconds squat hold, 15 seconds squat jump and repeating until we're at the end, okay? You've got five seconds left. We're about to squat jump in three, two, one. If you can, you're jumping up and landing. I can't, so instead I'm going to do this, driving up onto the toes. If you can, you are jumping, guys. Come on, all the way through. Really nice and fast. Faster, 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 faster. Come on, all the way through. Okay, squat hold. 15 seconds. 15 seconds, nice and low. Lower, lower, lower. If you are squat jumping, I want you to drive, okay? In five seconds. Three, two, squat jumps. Let's go. Everyone else, squatting and driving up onto the toes. Come on, push, 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 push. Last five, four, three, two, one more. Woo! Well done, guys. You smashed it. We made it through another workout. I'm not going to lie. That was a horrible one for me. Hi, Teddy. Mommy, where you up? My butt is really feeling it. I don't know about you guys, but my booty's like, yeah. You worked me. I really hope you enjoyed this workout. I massively apologize for the fact that my knee is just very frustratingly sore today. It's like, you know when you're like, I'm not gonna let it beat me, but wow, that was, that was frustrating. We made it together. The next session is gonna be pretty nasty as well. I'm not gonna lie. But it's in two days time, so you get a day of recovery tomorrow. Don't forget that I'm sending you guys out your recipes in between each workout that we're doing. So if you're not already subscribed to my mailing list, please do check out what I've written below. But basically it's leanwithlily.com. Enter your email address and then you receive free recipes throughout this program. All healthy, delicious recipes which basically help you to get on track. Don't forget this program is basically about kick-starting your process towards achieving an hourglass shape. So it's only 10 days long. You're not gonna get miraculous results in 10 days. However, if you are to repeat this program, you will start to get incredible results. Like I have noticed a massive difference in my body since training in this way, particularly around my waist and creating the illusion of the hourglass shape. I can't describe to you how effective these workouts are. Do not give up, keep pushing. We are a family, we're in this together. Guys, I love you, Mwah! and I'll see you in two days. And here he is, the love of my life. You've just woken up, haven't you, baby? I have missed this guy so much. I've been in London for a week and I'm like, hmm, getting all my teddy love. So I'm going to go down to the pool now, guys. Go and hopefully loosen off my knee and then have some major teddy love. Bye, guys. Say hi, teddy. <laughs>